This is Mo Agostino, Chief Commodity Strategist with Farms.com Risk Management. We're in Michigan, Allegan, Michigan. It's the ninth year to the 2020 U.S. Corn Belt Crop Tour. And uh, we're here with Jake Dwartz from Dwartz. Is that correct? Droz. Droz, sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm always uh, not pronouncing names properly. Uh, uh, and um, Jake, thank you for spending some time with us. Jake is part of the Corn Warriors TV show. If you've never uh, seen it, just go to cornwarriorstv.com. Yeah. Yep, cornwarriorstv.com, I think, and you kids can watch all their videos and, <laughs> or click on my face, I guess. I don't know, I don't know what's on there. I haven't been on there lately. So, so basically, they're, 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 they put in some uh, contest fields to see who can win the highest yield for the U.S. and uh, this is, is this your first year there? Yeah, this is our first time on it, and uh, I got a bug on my glasses, but uh, yeah, it's our first time on it. So I don't, I don't know. And this is it part might, of it. It might end up be our good, our good corn. Uh, <laughs> it all blew over last week, so I mean it'll be 200 bushel. So. Right, right. <laughs> this is some of the best corn I've seen across 12 states. And uh, so, how was your growing season? Was it pretty good? Uh, planting season and growing season. Spring, the spring sucked. It was awful. But yep. uh, the summer, June is probably the sunniest we ever had. Um, yeah, it moved it along pretty good. I don't know. I don't know if it'll make it much, but you know, obviously today it's cloudy. Right, but we right. need the rain now. Pivots kind of, pivots kind of broke down. So last year so. you said this field <laughs> did 300. Or you, you, it looks yeah. like the 300 bushel crop. Yeah, I, I yeah I. I don't know. It's hard to tell right now. So I mean, it looks good. It'll make 275 pretty easy. Right. I so mean, I, I don't know. You have to question that. So, so uh, by the way, I want to thank my sponsor, Genesis Ag, for sponsoring this video. And it sounds like you're using some of their products. What's working? Yeah. So out here we used uh, there's Energy, the microbiological biological product. Uh, you put it in furrow at eight ounces. Um, we came back and sprayed. Uh, rather a stuff a whole pile of stuff okay. on it when the corn was younger <laughs> right uh, but we threw in their micro boom okay and their uh carbos product i think out here we even had it treated with invigorate, invigorate. Seed treatment for yep. number eight yep. so yep. uh it seemed to help but yeah they got some, they got some pretty good stuff that works pretty good you right. know as long as you use it at the right times and use it the right way it, it'll it'll right. treat you right and last couple of years have been a challenge maybe too wet this year we got some heat what have you learned anything oh yeah that the sunlight's uh pretty much everything and okay. we haven't been getting it right so right. but nobody has a uh nobody has sunlight and a jug product for sale sure or sure, to give away sure. so but I, I but i think growing a crop like this <laughs> means you more attention to detail yeah you got to watch everything i mean we we uh we tissue sample every week every monday right. on a couple of fields so it uh yeah you know you just want to watch your planting depth and your spacing and right you know you, like you said you just want to watch everything come out here I'm probably here every, if not every day, every other day. But this helps that it's irrigated, correct? Yeah, this is all irrigated. If we wouldn't irrigate, we wouldn't have much of a crop anywhere. Okay. So, okay. yeah. Oh. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And finally, we want to thank our uh, premier sponsor, Genesis Ag. If you're looking for uh, better soil health, better yields, higher yields, and profitability, look no further. Learn more, go to Genesis Ag, www.genesis.ag, or follow them on Twitter at Genesis Ag Life. Mm -hmm.